89.9. Don't wake up yet. You're listening to 88.9 Pacific Dreams. This time. All night, every night. Don't be soft. Upgrade now. Seventy percent real blood dripping meat. Slaughterhouse. Satisfy your instincts. Hey, V. Thanks for showing. Talking with Michael is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. Care to be a bit more specific? Wouldn't mind knowing what to expect. Expect everything. Miss a beat, she'll wrap you around her finger. Get you on her agenda while thinking you're the one in control. Ooh. <laughs> Guess I know the type. Some deets about her could be useful when I talk to her, don't you think? No, leave the talking to me. So in brief, I'm just here as your hustle, right? Never said that. I just know the woman better. How do you aim to get her over to our side? By telling the truth about Evelyn, what happened and why. Think that'll cut it? No. Have to improvise from there. You seem a bundle of nerves. I have a mind to kill the bastards with my bare hands. So yeah, you could say I'm a teensy bit nervous. I'm ready. Let's go. Hold on. I'll open it.
lock like that? No way you cracked it open on your first try. You know how to get around their systems? Appears so. Was hoping they hadn't run any updates since I left. Looks like I was right. Easy as paella. Follow me. Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like surprise parties, but you know. Yup, bet I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the mocks. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. Consorting with a persona who is very non grata. Yes, V. I mean you. <laughs> Guess it left a lasting impression. Good. Paid you one visit, and you remember me. My job, among other things, is to remember unsavory customers. Naturally, I take it upon myself to deal with them, too. Now, how am I to deal with you? Don't mind me. Just here to blend into the decor. That's no reason. Why come at all? To make sure Judy gets what she came for. Jude would have had a better chance without you. Judy has a proposal. About clouds. Wanna come back? Done. Always valued your skills, you know that. Just don't get why you had to drag this... loose end in here. Stop treating dolls like meat and I'll consider it. But first things first. Clouds needs to be taken from the Tiger Claws. Okay, look. It's clear what happened to Ev was... traumatic. Huh? I was convinced you didn't know. That girl was asking for an unhappy ending. I was just surprised it took so long. We gotta do something! Or everyone will end up like Evie! Woodman raped her while she was unconscious, then sold her like she was so much scrap. Yeesh, you've always been unstable. Okay, since you seem more reasonable, care to explain what this is about? You aware what Woodman did to Evelyn when she was desperate for help? You sit by, let that happen? Tiger Claw bosses rule this place. Know how much I mean to them? About as much as you two and your problems mean to me. Read, negligible. Doesn't it make you wonder why you even work here? Gonna pretend as if you two weren't ever here. For old time's sake, Judy. Literally moments from now, security's gonna figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. And that's not a threat or figure of speech. Just a friendly heads up. Had enough. I'm leaving. Smart move. And so you don't think I'm brushing you off completely, Forrest will be on the maintenance level in a couple minutes. Alone. That went smoothly. She totally blew us off. Don't worry. She put on an act. A few days down the line, she'll call and tell you her plan to take over Clouds as if it was her idea. You might be onto something. You have a history? Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. So was I. 
can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. Lying between patting you on the back as their friend and planning knifing you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I... Well, used to have a big crush on her. It took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. <sighs> Just think, could have gone diving this morning. A little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding, not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but I can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah, you, a deck chair and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella. Somehow I don't see it. No, me in the deck chair is me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. Wait a sec. What about Woodman? Well, what do you want to do? I want somebody to unload lead into his face till there is no face. Somebody? Fine. I want you to do it. I'm sure he's gonna be there. You met Michael. If that prick still works here, it's cause he follows her orders pretty damn precisely. Don't have an ounce of sympathy for that motherfucker. So, we go in there? Damn straight. Let's end them. We'll take the elevator. Quickest way. Maintenance level. Scrolled everything Night City has to offer. Now discover Dogtown's dirty little secrets. You know what's worse than a corpo? A wannabe corpo bitch. You me and Maiko. Piece of work, that one. But I'll give her credit. She's dead on about your chances of pulling this off. Welcome to the N54 News World Report. I'm Jillian Jordan. Scientists from Biodyne Systems have announced a breakthrough in the fight against multiple squirrels. Fuck you two doing here? Where's Maiko? Why'd she fucking call me here? Evelyn's dead. Come here just to tell me that. It's fucking kind of you to remember. Here. Go light a candle. When Evelyn needed help, you raped her. Could have also broken her neck. Hung up her head like a chandelier till it started to rot. <laughs> Instead, I took her to a ripper. Was due a little something in return. She should be grateful. And so should you. Hmm. Here's my token of gratitude. Created by Raven Cybernetics, has feel more several of her works of be satisfied. Her first novel, Requiem for a Samurai, which was published. Punch the ground floor to get out of this place. Sold over three million copies. In the shape Almost felt like the world would be a better place once he died. And is already and the feeling it was so fucking strong. This has been your world report. Thank you for you know, coming in. Revenge isn't ever really worth it. People want to believe it'll be the miracle pill for their grief. But that's not how it works. 
long. What's the matter? What's going on? It's nothing. Okay, except nothing I can do if you don't tell me. <laughs> Guess that's that. Come oh, on, don't keep me waiting. Screw it with my head. There's that tone. Yelling comes easy. Taking me out somewhere. That fucking board is on the car. I am not yelling. Send yourself. We got everything here. I get back to Michael with something big. Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough? Michael only works with specifics. A minute there. Thought you were about to call it quits. V. I go for days tuning virtues in a basement. Know what the chances are of somebody blowing my head off down there? Minuscule? Same as Michael's empathy. <laughs> Unlike you, I don't put myself out there. But this ain't over. Not yet. V, get it together. You know, I'm also partial to specifics. Uh-huh. So that's what matters. How many you'll drop. How much ammo you'll use. How many eddies it'll get you. Art and dreams of freedom can't be everyone's food. Sometimes, you gotta deal with the dirt. So, what now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V, and thanks.
somehow. Let's hold this like warrior. Uh -huh. This ought to work. Well, so why are we here exactly? Heard Carrie got himself a buck of mansion here. Done well. Where do you hear anything about Carrie? In and about town. Scream sheets are full of shit about it. Oh, right. You weren't around. Mm-hmm. Your big night out. So what? Wanna pay him a visit? Yep. Seems as good a time as any. So I gotta hit Carrie's digs, look around, critique the drapes. Know what they're writing about him? He's depressed, attempted suicide. What, really worried he wants to hurt himself? Who knows? Either way, could give him some pointers. Meaning you want to go in person. Gotta hand you the reins again. Yes. Behaved myself last time, didn't I? I think I warrant another furlough for good behavior.
What was that about attempted suicide? Amateur hour. Didn't even cobble together the right audience. Tried to put a bullet through his skull in his room. Bodyguard took his gun like candy from a baby. Could just be the rumor mill. Sure, could. But I want to know. Okay. But I want to know what you plan to do. Nothing stupid, I promise. Just want to see how he's doing. How you plan to tell him it's you? Could be dealing with some real personal shit right now. Might not be the best time to mess with his head. V-Care was always dealing with personal shit. That's why, in spite of everything else, we got along. Don't worry. I'll play it by ear, sensitively. First things first, we gotta get into that house. Okay, just let me know when you want to take the wheel. How's this freak tech?
fugly as seafood barf. Hope it was expensive, at least. Something's gotta justify this level of tacky. Stayed out. Always. I know that one. An oldie but a goodie. What's... Second conflict. Carried always goes straight for kitsch with titles. Guess nothing's changed. What's... Old single we put out. No idea why Carrie hoards shit like that. Never fade away. Guess if I had a fave... It'd be that one. Wicked bad collection. Well, now I am impressed. Played a few of these myself back in our samurai days. like that run as many eddies. Forget it, we couldn't afford it. That's Carrie's fave. He looks like he's showering. Alone, too. Good thing, believe me. Okay, leave the rest to me. I'll get him out of there. Drop one of Misty's special pills. Let's go. Okay. Ah, oh, feels so much better. Now let's see which you're up for show and which you're actually strummable. Who the fuck? Keep playing. Silverhand tell me before he died. I told you to stop being a pussy. Did you? Huh? Johnny fucking Silverhand. Fuck. I mean, how? Surprise. Motherfucker! Okay. Weren't expecting me. I get it. Oh, fucking contraire. Been waiting 50 years to do that. So you changed a bit. Sporting a new style, trying to stay hip. 
Yeah, kinda. What about you? Shit. Johnny. Oh, man. I need a drink. All right. Come on. Tell me. Why do you look like a small-time kleptopunk from the afterlife? This is V. You'd like him. The fuck, Johnny? Doesn't explain a thing. Nice place. Ain't seen much of it yet. Moved in after the fourth album came out. All sold well, apparently. Fuck you, Johnny. Don't even start. Who'd you sign with? Shit. With Arasaka. Mornings, I record at their studio. Then evenings, Yori pops over for a little neighborly cookout. Hmm. And who'd you really sign with? MSM Records. Another pillar of society. Come on. Sit down with me. Tell me where you've been all this time. Steal yourself for a long story. I just really want it to be tragic. Sad as all fuck over all those years. Cause if I hear you spent them with the nomads, open road, winning your hair, or cool and relaxed in orbit, and now you've just popped by to shit all over my life, well, I'ma lose my damn mind. Oh, it is a heartbreaker. Oh, fuck. Remember? The one damn time Henry showed up sober and clean as a whistle. Uh-huh. And played absolute tripe. At least Danny was happy. Looking at him now, those really were the best of times. Playing fucking rat-infested dumps. Argued before every gig. Had no idea what we wanted to play, and never had an Ed do our name. Nancy? Control freak. Henry smelled like zappers and piss. I was always stealing your pants. Hella good times, man. Never did get what Denny saw in that guy. I mean, smart in that one. Maybe too smart for the company she kept. Nah, Denny always went for losers, incapable of dressing themselves. Oh, Hank was perfect. Half a brain and high all the time. She got to rescue him over and over again. Why'd she never try and fix me? Would have had to get in line, that's why. Who's that? Elise. The ex-wife. The what? Huh, <laughs> you're kidding. How long did it last? Eh, hey, too long. But don't worry. It worked out well. For her. Gave her my house in Tokyo. Cars. Kids. Yeah. Worked out pretty well for you too, then. Stuff about you being depressed. It true. Nope. Promo stratagem. Suicide attempts too. Think putting a bullet through your skull will help your sales? Didn't work for you. Nobody remembers Samurai. Now you're just butthurt because I managed fine without you. Fuck me, got no answer to that. Still in touch with the gang. Just Nance. Changed her name to Bess Isis. Works for N54 News. Could track down Denny and Henry if you want. Maybe get together? You know, jam or something? Bess Isis, damn, Nance really went for it. Though all I hear is part-time stripper with a thing for ancient Egypt. Shame you died. Sure she would have welcomed your input. How is she in general, besides having nothing to do with music? Could ask her yourself. Henry probably killed his own liver. Nah, I would have heard if he was gone. Got mutual friends. Few calls and I should be able to track him down. Denny might still be in the biz. Actually had talent. 
and the spine. Yeah, released something not too long ago. Moved to North Oak, too. You just said you weren't in touch. Didn't hear it from her. I think she might be avoiding me. You ever leave this house? Nope. You want to bring Samurai back? Uh, no. Could do one gig, play some dive where nobody plays us. I mean, got my reputation to think about. But I won't have to explain what happened. All this. Nah, we'll spare him. Hell a boring story. Biochips, Arasaka's evil schemes, magic pills. We'll just say you're my new input. All right, let's do it. Fuck yeah! Okay! Send you Nancy's number in a sec. I'll go after Henry and Denny. Hmm, I'm not there, figure it out with V. Sure, uh, you two get along? Sure, kid loves me. Yeah, I bet. How am I? Johnny, you okay? No. Ah, so you must be V. Johnny mentioned something like this might happen. You two have fun, at least? <laughs> that a hint of disapproval, I hear? Just sit tight for a bit. Rest. Don't worry about a thing. The hell is this concert thing? Did you hear that? Gets sharper as the pills wear off. So? Wanna see Samurai live? Probably won't get another chance. What if this ends up like the rogue thing? One big letdown. Nah, this is different. Carrie needs this concert. Okay, calling Nancy. Fuck yeah, nice. Uh, Nancy? Uh, I mean, uh, Bess? Bess Isis? No, this is her underpaid, underappreciated assistant. Steven, N54 News, how can I help? Want to talk to Bess? She's not here. You know when she'll be back? She was supposed to be back two days ago. Went to the Totentons to shoot some stuff, story on Maelstrom. Call back next week or just watch the news. If anything happens to her, I'll be the first to cover it. Got a bad feeling, V. Think we better head to the Taunton tent. All right. I'll give him that one. That he sits here and thinks, the fuck I need all this shit for?
Thank <laughs> you.